Skoda is very invested in the future, in particular students. So once they get out of school, they can go into the Skoda Vocational School. And since 1927, more than 27,000 of them have gone through to further their education and learn more about electronics, mechanical engineering, all kinds of different things. Every year for the last couple of years, some of those students have been able to make special student cars. So these are fully functioning cars that they've been able to work on as an added project. And we've got quite a few of them here. So I'm gonna show you through what the different ones are. This was the very first one that they made. It's called the Skoda City Jet. And as you may have guessed, it is based on a City Go. But what's different about it is obviously the styling is a little bit differently because they've completely taken the roof off. The inside is pretty much the same, but it's got some pretty neat features inside. So it's got different color upholsteries, different designs. And that's where the students can learn a lot of different features and be a little bit more expressive about it. But the finish of these is actually really cool because one of the best things is these aren't just design cars. These are fully functioning vehicles. So you do actually get to drive these things. It's got a big wing on the back. There's only two seats in this. It's got a very cool roll bar, a load of speakers in the back, exactly what you'd want as a student. Now, after that, the next year, they made the Funstar. And I really like this because it kind of reminds me of the Felicia Fun, if you might remember that pickup that they did. It's based on a Fabia. You can see here, they've lined all the back of it here. So it is got this kind of corrugated metal in it. Looks really smart, big upright, and then upright rear window. And in the back, loads of really vibrant colors. It's got this two-tone paint job. I think it looks really slick. Vents in the bonnet. I love these wheels. They look great with those flashes of color and it continues all the way around the front here as well with that color that really pops. Now, if that didn't make as much of an impact, then they made the elements. This is, again, they've taken a Skoda City Go and rather than just take the roof off, they've taken pretty much everything off this. Now you've got to come around and have a look at the inside of this because if you think the, the paintwork on the outside is bright, well, you're going to need your sunglasses in here because this is every bit as vibrant. But it's pretty nifty. It's got the automatic transmission in this car. No doors. You've just got these kick plates that you get in. It's all really well finished. And speaking of sunglasses, it's also got a solar panel on the back as well to gather a little bit more energy, which thankfully we are making the most of today. Then they started to get a little bit bigger. So this is the, uh, the Sunrock, which you can probably tell what this might have been based on. It was once a regular Skoda Karak, but they've changed it into a very luxurious, uh, almost Maybach-like convertible. So it's, they've taken the whole roof off. Um, there isn't a roof in here. This is just a fully open roof. You've got the quad exhaust on the back. The interior absolutely matches the exterior. You've got this white leather interior. Um, even in the seats, they even put in special Skoda Academy there, embroidered into the seats. You've got quilted leather. This is a really luxurious, kind of concept car that they've done. Quite different, pretty good fun actually. And those quad exhausts do sound pretty, pretty nifty actually. Now, one of my favorites is this. This is the Skoda Mountiac. So again, you're seeing that naming, uh, kind of play on names coming through. This is the biggest one that they've made to date. So this came out a couple of years ago based on a Skoda Kodiak, but you can see here, the arches have been beefed up. It's got big heavy duty winch on the front, snorkels, LED light bar. This is designed to go anywhere. And it does look really neat. There's a lot of cool features, like the way they've put a step in here, but you've still got the whole door. So it's, it's really quite neat, really chunky. And that kind of shows how much wider this car is now. So 
there is still obviously lots of the same regular interior features that you get other than a bit more color there's only a two door so this is the only two door kodiak you're ever going to see big load bay in the back we've got a spare wheel in here all your different mounts another big bar in the back so there's a lot of really cool features really rugged looking this is properly beefy if you come right around the back you can see the way all those arches come out and it's really well done like these are students who do this i could never imagine doing anything like this when i was kind of in school and then the more recent one this is the latest one they've done up up until a couple of years ago which is the skoda slavia this is based on a scala hatchback which sits just above the fabia in the range but again, they've, they love getting rid of rear doors. So <laughs> there's no rear doors in this. There's no roof, there's no rear seats. It's all just this very gently sloping roof in the back of it. Uh, you've got interior again, flashes of white on the inside. It's quite interesting how they've changed some of the buttons to make them a bit more color coded. Got speakers here in the back and it does look pretty cool. You've got a little drive there, 125 years. Skoda's just had its big anniversary last year and when you see them all together it's quite impressive what these students have done but they've done one more which was done even more challenging because it was done entirely through covid and through lockdown so they did miss out last year but now they've got a brand new one it's called the afric and we're not only going to look at it today we're going to take it for a drive so let's have a look this is the skoda afric it's the latest design car from the students and it's by far one of the most impressive we've seen it's based on the skoda kamik the suv but they've turned it into a proper rally car the name the afric ties in with the fact that skoda now has responsibility for the north african region for all of the volkswagen group so they control everything that goes on there and Obviously, last year was the company's big year for their anniversary, and that includes the rally team. So that's why they decided to make a rally car, do it in the motorsport colors of green, white, and gray. And it really does look very impressive. So what have they done with this car? Well, let's come around the front. This is obviously originally a regular Skoda Kamiq that you would get in your showroom, but they then widened the wheel arches here. They've changed the engine. So there's now a two liter TSI petrol engine from an Octavia with four wheel drive and an automatic DSG seven speed gearbox. They've put the extra fog lights here from the Fabia rally car. They put some quick release functions here. They've got an air scoop on the back mirrors, all the kind of things that we typically would see on the rally car, including the wheels. Then they decided to go, we don't want rear doors anymore. So the rear doors are all welded up. You don't need those anymore. And there's a reason because there's something in the back of here, which I'm gonna show you in a moment. Then around the back, you've got slightly different rear styling. This wing, again, comes from the Fabia rally car and you can see then they've got a custom exhaust single exhaust comes right out on the center there and you can see obviously he's got the afric name now why is it different in the back well let's have a look so i'm going to open these up you might not quite understand what that is in the back they've again tying in with the need to raise awareness about what's going on in africa and the scarcity of water they've teamed up with an Israeli company to create this water gen system. And what this does is quite nifty. I was really surprised to hear about this. What it does is draws in air from the outside, puts it through a condenser that cools it down, makes it condense into water. It then goes into this tank, gets filtered to help kill any microbes and bacteria that are in there. And then it goes into a tank, which then comes right away into the front onto the dashboard so you have running water this system is was specially made for this car it's scalable so it goes into all different sizes this can produce up to 20 liters of drinking water per day 
just from this car. Obviously, the company can make huge units to go into buildings and create 6,000 liters of water a day if you need to. But it's a very interesting bit of technology that they've added into this car. It's purely a prototype, but it does work. It proves that it works. And yeah, we'll, uh, we'll be sampling it later on to see exactly what it's like. Other than that, you've just got your standard roll cage, spare wheel, as you might need when you're out in a rally stage. And yeah, pretty cool. What better way to get really under the skin of this car than with Michael? Because Michael is one of the very talented students that has worked on this car. So am I right in saying you've more than 2,000 hours of work went into this? What were the difficult things and what were the easy things to do with this car? Well, for me especially and for the team, probably the hardest thing was to fit the suspension and the engine from Octavia to chassis from Kamik. And second of all, it was not quite as compatible as we thought it would be. But after some little adjustments, we made it fit to okay. the chassis. So you had to change, obviously, some of the mounting points and where everything fits in. Yes. But you also then, so you've made the wings wider here so that if all the and wheels will fit fenders, in as well. bumpers, all of this. Now the engine is, the, it's a standard engine, so you didn't, uh, did you do anything special with the engine or is it still well, a standard? The engine, it's engine from Octavia, especially to be exact, two liter TSE, 140 kilowatts and 190 horsepower. And it's regular engine serially produced. The only thing that we especially added is the fire extinguishing system. The inside is obviously like a, it is like a proper rally car. I've been in the Fabia, uh, in the Fabia rally car and it's very familiar inside. You did a custom uh, roll cage as well, which you, you designed yes. and welded in. It looks like you had to do quite a lot with the electronics and the wiring to get everything to fit in. So. Yeah, that is correct. <laughs> The motorsport guys, they did a bit of help with that? They helped us to actually manufacture the parts and order them. Because as you can see, all the parts are not looking like, but are actually from the Fabia to Evo. So they are basically the same parts, the seats, racing belts, dashboard, navigation and steering wheel. And as for the roll cage, we had to cut it down and just adjust it so it fits in the chassis of Kamik. Now, the one interesting thing that I find fascinating about this is what's in the back. But just when we get there, the doors, you decided to make this purely a two-door car. Was the idea just because you want, preferred the look of it or did you want it, was it more just to develop the skill of how you can change it? Actually, it's because of a maintenance because we thought that it would be not, it wouldn't be necessary to include another two doors because the water chain is so big that actually the only proper way to access it is from the behind. And as there are no back seats and no additional you know, space for other people, we thought that it wouldn't be necessary. And also as for the weight reduction, of course. What did you think when you heard about this system first? Well, first we thought that Actually, we said to ourselves that, why the hell? <laughs> why would you do that? But yeah. as we learned more from our colleagues and learned more about this technology, we actually realized that it would not be a bad idea to make a sports car that would be actually ecological and would help the environment. And educate people about obviously yes. water scar scarcity in, in certain parts of the world. Obviously you have a, an interest in engineering and things like that. Do you think this is a pretty cool idea? Yeah, I, I think really it's pretty awesome idea and it will inspire f future generations and future future Adobe projects to do something good for the earth, you know. Oh, cool, well, well done. I gotta shake your hand because I'm very, I'm very impressed with this car. You and all of your other classmates should be very, very proud because this is a very cool bit of a kit. And uh, well done to Skoda for encouraging these guys to do it as well. It's great to see a car company doing something like that and investing in the future. So unlike some design cars, this is a fully functioning vehicle that we're able to drive here on one of the special rally courses that they have. 
and uh, it's really cool. So as you would expect, like in a, a regular rally car, I sit way low down. So I'm just peering over the dashboard itself. And obviously everything inside here, a lot of it is like what you would get in a rally car. So the steering wheel setup, all that is the same. Seats here, obviously I'm not wearing a helmet, but we're only on a closed course today. We're not going particularly fast. Skoda did ask that I didn't go too quickly today because obviously they're quite precious about this car and we're not trying to do any sort of record attempts here or any high speed driving. It's more just about experiencing what the car is like. And it is actually pretty cool. The engine itself is a two liter turbocharged petrol engine mounted to a seven speed DSG. So it comes from an Octavia four x four. So it's got 190 horsepower, 320 Newton meters of torque. So it is capable of being pretty quick actually. And it's such fun to drive. This feels nothing, even at low speeds, feels nothing like a Skoda Kamiq. Obviously it's not because this is the Afrique. Now, the suspension has all been changed as well. So it's beefed up more like what you would expect from a rally car and it's really firm and on top of that you've got these sports seats as well which really hold you in place i'm not the biggest of people i'm only five foot nine but my hips are properly wedged in here and obviously i've got the full six point harness on as well so it really does feel like the proper rally experience so there's no performance figures as such this is more about just the students showing what they can actually do and their talents. And it's really quite impressive. Obviously there's no sound deadening in this like you'd normally have as well. So you can hear everything. You can hear the turbo whooshing away. You can hear a few little beeps and all that going because this is all a completely custom setup. It's a real treat to get to drive something like this. Proper special car. And you can see how much it means to those students as well to see to work on a project like this more than 2000 hours of work has gone into this car and you can see how proud they are they're so thrilled to be able to show this off and i tip my hat to them incredible great to see i guess the last thing to do then is have a drink from the onboard water system cheers so there you go, that's our first drive review of this very special Skoda Afrik student car. Real privilege to get to drive something like this. This is a truly unique one-off car. Well done to the students. It's great to see. Hopefully it will inspire more people in school to look at what you can actually do. So well done to everybody involved in this project. If you wanna know more about this car, do visit our website, it's completecar.ie. Apart from this, there are reviews of all the other cars you can possibly think of. It's a great resource if you're searching for your next car. You'll find us on all the usual social channels and let us know what you think by getting involved in the comments below. Tell us what you think about this car, we'd love to hear. Thanks for watching.